Hello, today's lesson is all about performance enhancing drugs. Number one, some people use drugs to improve their performance to be more successful in their sports, which can lead to wealth and fame. Some performers also claim they use the drugs to level the playing fields. If other competitors use drugs, you're at a disadvantage unless you use them too. Moving on to number two, using these drugs in sport is usually banned by the World Anti-Doping Association and they can have a nasty effect on the body. Okay, moving on to numero tres. So, unfortunately, some people and some performers, athletes, they still break the rules by taking them anyway even with the risks of their health and reputation and to the reputation and credibility of their sports if they get caught. Okie dokie. Moving on. So these are the drugs you need to know for your exams. It's important that you learn them because they might come up in your exams. So the first one is anabolic steroids. The next one is diuretics. The next one is narcotic analgesics. Next we have peptide hormones. Next we have stimulants. And finally we have beta blockers. We might have blood doping as a bonus. So for each of these we got three boxes. What they do, possible side effects and ideal sports that they play a part in. So anabolic steroids, what they do, they mimic the male hormone testosterone. Testosterone increases your bone and muscle growth. Okay, possible side effects. High blood pressure, heart disease. Women can even grow facial hair or get deeper voices. An ideal sport for this would be in the NFL because they have to have a certain level of muscle tissue. So diuretics, what do they do? It increases the amount of urine causing weight loss. This can also mask the traces of other drugs in your body. Possible side effects, cramp, dehydration, muscle weakness and heart disease. So ideal sports that can benefit from these boxes because they have to be able to cut weight to get into a certain weight division. Moving on to narcotic analgesics. What do they do? These kill pain. So injuries and fatigue do not affect the body when performing and training. So possible side effects, overtraining, addictive, promote withdrawal symptoms, constipation and lowers blood pressure. So when we look at performers that would benefit from these, marathon runners because when they feel fatigue it can kill the pain. Moving on to peptide hormones, what do they do? They can cause promotion of other hormones, similar to anabolic steroids. So EPO, erythropoietin, is a peptide hormone that causes the body to produce more red blood cells. GH, growth hormones, these are peptide hormones that make the body build more muscle. So more development in muscle. Possible side effects. These can cause strokes, heart problems, abdominal growth and diabetes. So if we've researched what it does, possible sports that could benefit from this. 400 meter sprinters because red blood cells and high muscle development is key in the event. Moving on to stimulants. This affects the central nervous system, the bits of your brain and spine that control your reactions. They can also increase mental and physical alertness. Reaction time. Possible side effects. High blood pressure, heart and liver problems, strokes, and they are very addictive. Possible sports that could benefit from these Hurdle jumping boxes because they have to be able to be alert and ready at all times. Moving on to beta blockers. 
what do they do? They can reduce heart rate, muscle tension, blood pressure and the effects of adrenaline. This steadies shaking hands which improves fine motor skills and has a calming and relaxing effect on the body. So as we look at possible side effects, they can cause nausea, weakness, low blood pressure, cramp and heart failure. A possible sport that could benefit from this, golf, because they involve fine motor skills which you need to be relaxed at all times. Moving on to the bonus one, blood doping. Now, blood doping is banned, hence why I've put the red cross there. And what do they do? This increases performance. By increasing the number of red blood cells in your bloodstream to increase the oxygen supply to your muscles. Blood doping is a form of cheating that increases a performer's number of red blood cells unfairly and it can be done in two ways. The number one, before a competition a performer could inject themselves with red blood cells or number two, a performer could also take EPO, erythral poietin, to increase their red blood cell count. So as we look at possible side effects, kidney disease, heart attacks, blood thickening and blocked blood vessels. A possible sport that could benefit from this would be cycling, because in cycling you need a continuous supply of oxygen at all times. Here we have a GCSE style question with two marks. We've been given a table, so we need two facts. Name of drugs, effects on performance and side effects. Stimulants, effects on performance, the golf. Okay, we remember that it increases our alertness. Reaction time, remember this? Next one, effects on performance, kills pain so athletes can train for longer. Okay, then we remember this one from the marathon runner, the narcotic. Analgesics. So as you can see there, one mark, two marks, an easy two marks we've just been awarded in our GCSEs just by revising and taking the time to learn. 